one. Hi, welcome to Nessus World. Today I have my mom with me. Hi guys. And today we're going to be making a part two of tying the knot while we're doing the bracelet. Oh, wow. Hey guys, welcome back to Nestus World. Today I have my mom with me. Hi guys. And today we're going to be doing a part two while we're doing the bracelet. How, how to tie a knot. So, let's see how it goes. We also have this tool here that is a bead loading tool. You can use it for beads for your hair or beads to make a bracelet. And we're going to spell out the word friends. And we're even going to put two emojis on the left side of the bracelet. Okay, so we're using this tool to load the beads on in part two of how to make a bracelet. And to be safe, you always need a parent to help you if you're going to do hot glue. Okay, and we're also using an elastic string. And we're only using two colors, green and purple. So I'm almost done loading the beads. We're going to put on the last two emoji beads. And then we'll grab the string. Hold the string. Teamwork makes the what? Teamwork. All right. So we're going to go ahead and stick one end of the string into the loop that's on the bead loading tool. Okay. And then you can easily slide them on. Okay. The elastic, and we're using elastic string. Yeah, this is the elastic stretchy string. So it wouldn't be too tight on your wrist. Okay, and we're going to just pull it through, very careful. This way, we said probably five minutes just getting the beads onto the string to make the bracelet. So and, now, we're ready to tie. And it's quicker. Alright, so once you have all of your beads loaded onto your string, it's time to tie the knot. Let me see your wrist. Nessa, alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start off with a simple knot where you just... Crisscross the strings. Go. Like, like you're tying a shoe. Like you're tying a shoe. Okay, that's the simple knot. Then if you want to do a double knot, you'll do the same thing again. And so that's just two simple knots right on top of each other. All right. Is that a good spot? We'll do another knot. This one is called the surgeon's knot. You have both strings. You start with the simple knot, and then you'll take... A crisscross here and you'll take one side of the string and pull it through one side of the bracelet and you just do that again pull it through and then you tie it off with another simple knot and it's really easy to use hot glue because it stays on okay so we're not going to cut it we just pull it off your wrist and then we'll pull out the hot glue all right, pass me the hot glue gun. I want to make sure that knot is secure. So, Nessa, we're going to switch. I'm going to have you hold the bracelet on both ends, and then I'll take the glue gun, okay? All right, I've got it. All right, but all you really need is a little dot. Just make sure it comes out first. We've had this warming up for a few minutes. Uh-oh, how's it not coming out? stuck on there. Come on. Wait a minute, now it's not coming out. Just... Alright, so now we have a little bit of glue on there. And you'll let that sit. After you put your glue, put away your glue gun. And then you'll just cut off the extra string. And then you will have a bracelet that is secure but, and it will not come loose. But you don't want to touch it when you have the hot glue on. Because you might have glue on your hand. And you don't want that to happen. Right. So you just lay it down. Let it sit for a little while. And then it will be just like all the other braces we made in part one. Except for these are not the elastic string. This oh, is the more one, of a rope, rope string. Rope, yeah. So thanks for watching Nessa's World. And I hope you enjoyed part two of how to tie a knot and make a bracelet. Bye. Bye.